want him to carry on, we really do. Now, there's a full fixture list in the championship tonight. It's fourth versus second at Selhurst Park with Crystal Palace up against Hull, having won five of their last seven games and with Cardiff dropping points, Hull are now only five points off top spot. And their former midfielder, Kevin Kilban, thinks they'll challenge for the title. Steve Bruce has been excellent since he's gone in. He's, he's, he, again, has established a really good group of players there. Um, he's got the team playing really well for each other. And, you know, they're in such a strong position right now. And they're actually chasing uh, Cardiff down at the top of the league. We've had a few slip-ups in recent weeks. So I'm just hoping that, that Hull can maintain the form that they're showing. I've still got a lot of friends up there, and I want them to progress and do well. And, you know, again, it's such a long way to go in the season. But Hull are in, in, in the pole position right now. Just need to maintain the form. And I'm sure that they'll be in, they'll be in a good position come the end of it. Well, it's a long midweek journey for Hull's fans. Mark Dexter has been with some of them as they set off for London. Yes, well, when you have an Egyptian-born owner, you've got three Egyptian internationals playing for you, and uh, you're near the top of the Football League pyramid, it's hardly surprising that the Hull City fans have uh, really taken everything to do with Egypt to the heart, and that includes the headwear. Well, here we've got a couple of uh, fans uh, wearing the traditional Egyptian fez. Uh, Chris, uh, why have you gone for this headgear? Well, what it was, we uh, were the Egyptian owners and the Egyptian players. Um, obviously, the uh, Fez is the national headwear, so I thought, well, we'll support the Egyptian players and the owners and we'll, we'll start doing the Fez for a fiver thing for the supporters club. And, uh, Andy, you've been selling quite a lot of these things. They're pretty popular. What, what do you make of it as, a, as an item of, of uh, headgear? Well, basically, it's, you know, support for the lads, you know, who've come from, you know, Egypt. It, you know, settles them in a little bit better, you know, and they've, you know, gone quite well with the fans, so... Yeah, they're, going, they're selling like hot cakes as well, aren't they? Apparently, yes. Is this the equivalent of, of when, when Grimsby fans had the inflatable haddock? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> OK, but, but there is a serious side to this, isn't there, Chris? Yeah, of course there is, yeah. Um, all the profits raised from the fezzes are going to be sold to the, uh, given to the families of the Hal Hadi, the, uh, the Egyptian team who lost all the, you know, the people in the riots there, so we're going to send all the profits to that. And I guess if you, you do end up getting promoted at the end of the season, there's going to be a, a real uh, festive atmosphere in the city? Oh, yes, uh, we're all going Egyptian, night boats, Cairo on and everything, yeah. Fez is all over. We're, we're all off to Egypt on holiday in the summertime, so... Uh, and Gedo's been in pretty prolific form for you, hasn't he? He's great. He's, he's a great player here, uh, Gedo. But the, the kid from Sunderland, he, he's been great all season as well, Hal Hamadi. He's been absolutely sound. He's a fantastic player. You know, why Sunderland got rid of him, I don't know. But... OK, well, uh, thanks for that. The, uh, these guys are just about to head off uh, down south to the game at Crystal Palace tonight where they'll be selling more of these fezzes. It seems as though we're going to have a real craze sweeping through uh, the city of Hull. And you can follow all those games with Julian Warren and his guests in tonight's soccer special here on Sky Sports News at 7.30.